Kyle, yes, fine customer. How come you don't sell any as many California Rhone wines? You like the French Rhone wines. Well, customer, the French Rhone wines are better for less money. Nuh-uh. Yes, yes, they're very good. They're outstanding even from really old vines and great vinification and longtime family winemakers. And they're usually half the price qualitatively of the California ones. Nuh-uh. Okay, I've had this conversation before. It's an uncomfortable conversation to have with our fine clientele on occasion. Why don't you sell more California Rhone wines? Quite simply, a lot of the California Rhone wines produced are the ones that are of, of, of utmost quality and fantastic are just kind of pricey with respect to their French counterparts that they're actually trying to emulate. Now, occasionally, wines come up that, well, gosh darn, they offer the same, if not a better level of quality than their French counterpart for the same price. Here's the problem, it doesn't happen too often. And when it does, we pounce. And we buy them. And in this case, here's a wine from the Big Basin Gang that, man, it is, it is that wine. It is that wine. And I'm so happy that uh, Bradley Brown and his winemaker Blake put to get, puts together a wine like this at, at a price like this because a lot of other folks would be more inclined to pump it up, to simply sell it for more. And I'm really happy that they found some way to not do that. Now, I think part of it's done through some of the sourcing. Uh, the sourcing here is what they call ocean-influenced mountain vineyards, which means maybe some of these vineyards are, are not as well known. We're talking about the Gabalon Mountain Range. We're talking about Santa Cruz Mountains. We're talking about coming down from the Santa Cruz Mountains closer to the ocean on some hillside vineyards here that don't get quite the run yet. They're not at this um, beautiful person point in time when you're talking about dollars per ton. Some of these vineyards, they farm themselves, maybe all of them. And when that happens, you can farm a certain way to get a certain quality of wine from some of these vineyards. And gosh darn it, the Big Basin people did it. And I absolutely adore this wine. This is the Big Basin Vineyards Homestead 2019. It's a Rhone Red blend, right? So we're talking 57% Grenache, 23% Mouved, 12% Carignan, and 8% Syrah. The 12% Carignan comes from super old vines. Um, that's, that's one of the things that were, it's one of the grape varieties that were privileged enough to have some old vines here in the state in um, lesser, well, uh, not as well known growing areas. So you can get really great old vine material, but the cost is down because of location, location, location. This is an expertly put together blend. I just love the color actually. That kind of Grenache, the Mouvet, the Carignan kind of filling out the middle. The Syrah really not playing into this. Mm. And this wonderful, wonderful high tone spice character that I don't know where they get it from. Is it the Grenache? Is it the, I don't know. The whole thing comes together to create this kind of wonderful, generous, spicy, easy Cote de of the highest order, of the highest order. If this was, if I'm buying this from France and this is this price, I am all over it. I'm buying stacks. Well, we're buying stacks of this, but I would do the same thing with that wine as I would do with this one. Does that make any sense? Simply sensational. These guys really hammer this. The nose, stick your face in the nose. Wait, wait till you get this wine. You're gonna buy this wine, take it home, pour it in a glass. That incense, that potpourri of spice. There's orange rind, there's um, nutmeg, there's, there's Christmas spices. There is just lots of stuff happening here. Mm. Ah, here you go. It's always fun tasting wine on camera with you guys because stuff just pops all the time. You feel the coastal influence. When they talk about ocean-influenced mountain vineyards, with this wine, you feel the mountain in the structure and you feel the ocean influence in the brightness, energy, and tang of this wine. It is full of fruit, it is super spicy, super yummy, but very focused, very precise. This stuff's endearing. I don't, I don't think there's any new oak on this. There's no new oak, I don't think. Um, pretty simple, basic winemaking with these guys. Less is more. You can feel it, you can taste it. 13.5 alcohol for all you nerds out there. So even though this is Grenache based, you're allowed to drink it. If you're still in pursuit of balance, this wine's for you. 
But as opposed to a lot of those wines from Brasita Balance that are unbalanced, this one is exquisitely balanced. Yay. Mm. It's got a score, 92 plus from Galoni. He loved it. It's a big number for him in a wine in this price range. But beyond that, when we say we love California Rhone wines, but we don't work a lot with them, I already told you the reason why. In this case, mm, we can have this conversation. And we are really Califiles, born and raised California. We'd love to have this conversation more. And I hope California sees to it that we do. Because this wine, one's with France's best for the same price. Gorgeous gear for Big Basin. Congrats, guys.